Guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a really cool video today. We're gonna to be doing our staple pieces, a beautiful $3,500 live edge table. These are what we make all day, every day. And we're gonna be making a really cool table today. So please make sure you like, comment, subscribe below and stay tuned for the video. Guys, here we are, this client just bought this table. So what we're doing is we're removing the tag. We're gonna be cutting this slab to size. He wanted to go with a seven foot table. So we're gonna be cutting this down, remove our metal tags. That's for our inventory purposes. So Josh is over here removing the tag and we're getting ready to cut this bad boy. All right guys, so what we're doing here is we're gonna be squaring up this table. So live edge, there's no square edge. We kind of have to make a visual and kind of find out where the square is. So our client wants a seven foot table. We roughly marked where he wants to cut. So we're gonna to try to get this square as straight as possible, kind of on that rough line where we drew. And right there looks pretty dang good. And we're gonna be using our best tool track saw. So we're gonna be cutting this thing down, make it nice and straight, and then we'll square the other side so we get a nice even table so you're not sitting all funky at the end of the table. So we're gonna be using our best tool track saw. Um, this is our favorite saw that we use all day, every day. We're gonna be cutting this down. Gotta have protection, gotta be safe. So we're gonna wear some eyeglasses, we're gonna cut this bad boy. We're gonna wanna cut this in three passes. So we're gonna start at our very low at three quarters of an inch. And then we're gonna make three passes to cut this through. That's gonna make sure it's a nice clean cut. All right, so now we're gonna measure our seven feet, which is what our client wants. So we're gonna pull this out. And we're gonna make two marks. Always measure twice, cut once. That's the golden rule of what we do. So we want seven feet. We're gonna mark that right here at seven feet. Put a little circle on our line. Same thing on this side. Seven feet. Mark it, little circle. Now we're gonna put that track back on here. Make sure it sits nice and right. Make sure it's seven feet exactly. And we're gonna cut this bad boy. Double check. We got 84 right on the money. And 84 right on the money. Same thing on this side, we're gonna be chopping this side. We got our seven feet marked out, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start sanding this bad boy. We're gonna start with 80 grit, that's our starting point. And we're gonna work all the way up to 800 grit. That's gonna give it a nice level of sheen. And then we're gonna apply our Odie's Oil hand rubbed oil finish. That's food safe, water resistant, and heat resistant. So here we go. Now we just finished 80 grit. We're gonna be using our Starbond glue and accelerator. We're gonna fill any little tiny holes. Um, this is just gonna be a nice little filler for any tiny holes, gaps, voids, anything like that. And so we're gonna use this glue, put it in any of the little tiny holes, just fill them real nice. And then we'll sand the excess away and so it fills that void nice and easy. And so we'll spray it and that will dry very, very quickly. So we're just gonna go around after we got through our 80 grit and just start filling away. All 
All right, so we're gonna be doing our final grit. We're gonna finish with 800 grit. We started with 80, worked our whole way up. This is our final grit. We're gonna give it a nice sand all over the top, bottom sides, and everything. And then we're gonna apply our hand rub oil finish. So here we go. So we're we'll going to be applying our Odie's Oil hand rubbed oil finish. This is the finish we use on all of our tables. It's food safe, water resistant, and heat resistant. And we're going to show you how we apply it and we're going to finish this table. So here we go. We're going to mix this up real good. Give it a nice stir. And here we go. We're using our gem polisher. This is gonna push all that oil into the grains of the wood and give it a really, really nice layer of protection and seal the whole table so it's nice and water resistant. Alright guys, now we have this finished with the oil, we're going to allow this sit for 45 minutes and we're going to buff it off with a cotton towel and then after about 24 hours we're going to apply one more coat and this table's done. Alright guys, so it's been 45 minutes, we're now going to buff off the excess oil with a cotton towel. This has been used once or twice. And so we're just wiping off any excess. Guys, it's been 24 hours. We're doing the second coat of Odie's oil. Here's Raph and Josh. They're gonna be applying the second coat. Here we go. Guys, here she is, $3,500 dining room table, done, finished, getting ready to be delivered. It's all set, all done. We took you through the whole process. Thank you for watching the video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe below, and stay tuned for the next one.